Hi guys, it's Kate here from DudeHack.com and I am here to provide the ultimate picnic deck guide. In my humble opinion, a picnic makes a great first date. Of course, you usually need the weather to be pretty good to make it work, but even an indoor picnic could be a really cute idea if the rain gods are not smiling on you. You'll need to put in a bit of planning to make it a really good picnic date, but that's a part of the joy. Putting in the work shows that you're enthusiastic about someone new, whether you met them online or already know them in a non-dating context. But why is a picnic date so good for a first date idea? Well, I'm here to answer all of your questions, but first, a little reminder, my name is Kate from DudeHack.com, a website that is everything online dating. If that sounds even a little bit interesting to you, make sure you check it out. Keep in mind, you can find all of the picnic date suggestions that we love here at DudeHack in the description box below. Okay. So a picnic is a great first date idea because it's unusual without being overly wacky or requiring an unreasonable amount of effort. It's kind of like a happy medium. So if you take someone to a super expensive restaurant for a first date, for example, this can be a little bit overwhelming. On the other hand, if you take them to your local bar and spend most of the time chatting to the bar staff, then your date will probably assume that you don't care about them or really want to impress them. A picnic though runs into neither problem. In fact, a picnic outing can be something that you plan with your date, getting to know them in the process. Speaking of happy mediums, a picnic is also great because it involves eating and drinking, but isn't totally centered on either indulgence. You can really make a picnic into whatever you want it to be, from super nature focused to super romantic and from a feast to just a nibble. The scenery and food and drinks are bound to stimulate conversation too and any wobbles with weather or cooking mishaps will probably just add to the fun. You can even bring activities on a picnic and the day can last all day if you want it to because there's really no time limit on sitting outside on a blanket, is there? Essentially, there are endless potential picnic ideas so the possibilities are endless they're limited only by your imagination and your date's imagination too of course so now that i've convinced you that a picnic is a perfect date idea what should you bring if you want your picnic date to be memorable you should put the most thought into what you should bring with you of course, you want to look good and be comfortable, but this is a real DIY date, so in many ways, its success is up to you and the things that you bring to your picnic. Remember, it doesn't have to stop at food. Obviously, picnic date food is a really important factor and definitely not something that you want to mess up, but you should also consider drinks, games, and even music if you really want to make an impression. Okay, so here are a few things to bring on a picnic date from food to activities. So picnic date food. You should discuss picnic food ideas with your date or at least find out what kind of foods they like. If you met online, you probably don't know at all or much about their preferences and this is a really good excuse to find out more about who they are. Plus, you don't want to spend hours cooking or queuing at the great bakery down the street just to find out that your date can't stand quiche or sourdough or whatever it is you're trying to impress them with. It's also a good idea to remember that on a first date, you probably don't want a huge or difficult to eat meal. A picnic is a great excuse to just bring some of your favorite foods and your date's favorites, this isn't just about you, and nibble for ages while chatting and getting to know one another. There is a reason a picnic is a better first date than a fancy meal out and it's partly because it's hard to eat a three course meal and talk at the same time without spilling pasta sauce on your shirt or choking, neither of which is really a good look for a first date. So take that into account what is good for a picnic lunch as well as your favorite food. So make sure you're packing easy to eat foods. As I've already suggested, you can also split the work with the food. Maybe one of you loves baking and can bring some dessert while the other likes making sandwiches. When in doubt, a cheese board or charcuterie board is an excellent picnic date food choice. And it feels a bit special without 
being too hard to put together and too hard to eat. Plus, you can customize it to fit any dietary requirements and include everyone's favorites. Fruit is also a really good idea. It's easy to transport and can be snacked on while you lie luxuriously in the sunshine. This is a very basic tip, but when I'm planning picnic food, the first question I ask about everything is how messy this is and will we be able to eat this with our hands? You probably don't want to have to bring a whole bunch of silverware and a variety of serving dishes to the park with you. So now we move on to picnic drinks. A great way to make a picnic date classy is to add a couple of really fancy or special drink items to an otherwise pretty standard picnic. I like First Leaf Wine Club because it means that you get sent an, all these new wines to try monthly and because it uses a rating system, they'll do better every month. These wines would be a great first thing to bring along with a picnic to share and if it goes well, you can do the ratings together and enjoy sharing next month's box together too. A First Leaf box does come with six bottles, which is a bargain at $39.95, which definitely should not all be consumed at the picnic too, but uh, maybe just choose the one that looks the most interesting for the first day. As one cannot live on wine alone, you should also bring a couple of big bottles of water, make one sparkling if you want to do things a little bit fancier. You can bring coffee or tea in a thermos too if it's cooler outside. In fact, if you're one for adventure dates, a thermos is a great thing to have. You can take warm drinks, hot toddies, even soup with you all throughout your outings throughout winter. Now let's talk about what goes in your picnic basket. Of course, whatever food you settle on will be going in the basket, but you also might wanna bring utensils, napkins, plates, etc. At the end of the day though, a picnic is a really good budget date. If you don't have the cash to splash on a bunch of crockery, that's okay. Bring everything in Tupperware and really just spend what you want on the food and drink. Another thing that you really have to think about is comfort. You want your date to be comfortable and you want to be comfortable too. Imagine trying to be charming while you have a wet butt or your feet are numb. The number one comfort item to pack in a picnic, well, is a blanket. I mean, what else would it be? Don't bring an old sheet or a beach towel with holes in it. If the ground is a little damp, you'll probably want to invest in a picnic blanket with a waterproof layer. Most of them are built for camping and picnics, so they're really easy and really easy to move around. So things to do on your picnic. As this is a first date, you probably want a couple of backup activities to stimulate the conversation. And games or music can be a really great way to break the ice and get comfortable too. I always take a portable Bluetooth speaker on a picnic, making sure that both my phone and the speaker are fully charged. If you're a sporty type or sporty enough that you like chucking things around on the grass, then lawn games are a really fun idea after you've eaten your picnic. Frisbee is an obvious one and pretty easy to pack, but you could go a little bit more posh and bring like a badminton set or something. <laughs> On the other hand, if you're usually more of a playing quietly indoors type, you could bring a good two person board game. Now we are just about to jump into more picnic date ideas, but before we do, if you are liking this video so far, we would really appreciate if you could give it a like and even hit that subscribe button for similar content. A picnic can be many things. You can go for traditional sandwiches in the park or do way more with it. Here are some really quick picnic date ideas to get you started. First, starting with romantic picnic date ideas. A romantic picnic is a really big swing for your first date, but some people would really love it. And it's definitely a great few dates in a date idea. If you want, you can be somewhere that is more secluded, perhaps a spot that means something to you or your partner or to you as a couple. A romantic picnic can be at any time of the day, but if it's a nice evening, then use the romantic dust atmosphere. Making a picnic romantic can be as simple as doing all the planning and including all of your date's favorite things. But to take it to the next level, light some candles, bring some flowers, maybe get a bottle of fizz in or your date's favorite first leaf wine if you've been getting those in. A romantic picnic isn't all complicated. It's all about just being thoughtful, so the rest is on you. Now we're moving on to fun picnic ideas. You can up the fun at any picnic by putting more emphasis on the games than usual. Bring a few options so you can go from lawn bowls to croquet. And if one or both of you have a dog, 
dog, they would also probably be a really good time. So definitely bring them along to the picnic if you can. A fun filled picnic might be a great way to introduce a new partner to all of your friends as all that action plus a little bit of wine and good food will leave everyone in an excellent mood. Now moving on to beach picnic ideas. Bring your swimming stuff and jump in the water when you've eaten. Sunbathe and read books side by side, have a bonfire in the sand dunes. There is really an endless amount of things that you can do on a beach day. You do have to be extra prepared to be at a beach day though. Making sure the blanket is waterproof, bring food that won't get too sand filled and make sure your Tupperware is really sealed shut. Bring towels, more water than you usually would, extra layers because weather can be really changeable by the sea. Basically stick everything you could possibly need in the back of your car and your beach picnic will be perfect. You can easily spend all day at the beach so this can be a really lovely drawn out day. Finally, we have winter picnic ideas. You don't have to let winter ruin your fun. So you have options. You can find a nice picnic bench, wrap up warm and drink coffee or hot toddies with blankets over your knees, all followed up by a snowball fight or else you can do something very cute like an indoor picnic, clear a space in the living room and put a blanket out. The pros of the ladder are clear and do include central heating and indoor plumbing. As you can see, I love a picnic date. They're a great way to spend a whole day together without the pressure of specific activities and without blowing huge amounts of money going from drinks to food to movies. Plus you get to enjoy the outdoors and spend real one-on-one -on -one time out where it's really quiet rather than shouting over loads of other first dates. Picnics can be as easy and DIY or as planned and romantic as you like. I mean, they can even happen in your back garden if you really want privacy. Planning a picnic is a good way for you to show them that you're really interested too. And as you can both have input, you can shape the perfect picnic for the both of you. And there we have it guys, your ultimate picnic date guide. You'll find some of our favorite suggestions that we mentioned in this video down in the description box below. And if it's the date you're looking for, head over to dudehack.com and take our dating app quiz. This is going to tell you what app is best suited to you. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button and also hit that subscribe button for similar content. And that's all we have for today. Make sure you check back in for regular videos soon. I'll see you next time. Bye guys.